Jesse Waters. Jesse Waters, a Fox News host. He used to be Bill O'Reilly's uh, man on the street interview guy. He's like lapdog that would go out and in, in horribly offensive and racist ways interview Asian people like in Chinatown in New York City and shit. He's just a vile fucking troll. And now he's the new Tucker Carlson on yeah. Fox News. And he's also on The Five. He's, you know, one of the stars of Fox News. He went on Patrick Bet David's podcast, who I don't really know a lot about. And so I can't really speak to that other than doesn't seem to uh, be super educated on a lot of the political issues that he talks about. And I think this is a prime example because, so the context for this conversation Jesse Waters, Patrick Bet David. There's also other people who sometimes are talking in the background. So be aware of like these other voices that may pop up. They were talking about the California minimum wage. Specifically, Patrick Bet David was reading a Wall Street Journal article that said California businesses take on Gavin Newsom over tax hikes. Governor says ballot measure would decimate funding for basic services. Backers say it is needed in the high cost state. Basically talking about how California businesses don't like the tax uh, taxes in California. They don't like the minimum wage in California. Well, that also, there's all these burdens. California just raised the minimum wage for fast food workers to $20. Yes. Which I think predicated a lot of this. And I've seen screenshots out there of like the prices at in and out before and after. And it's like a 3% increase in prices for like a 15 or 25% increase or something it, it, like the, it's way disproportionate that price increase versus the wage increase and it's it's a value proposition right it's almost no sacrifice on your part to pay a couple more cents on your burger in order to have someone have like somewhat of a livable li livable wage in the state of California but here's Jesse Waters who again is given this massive platform on Fox News to talk about political issues, including the economy and minimum wage. And you would hope he would do so astutely. <laughs> yes, and you're going to hear very quickly that he has no idea how the world actually works. Jesse, I know you love Gavin's policies. Oh. What, what are your thoughts about this wonderful <laughs> well, governor? You're very good at math, so see if you can do this in your head. You probably can. If you're making $20 an hour to work at a fast food restaurant, all right, is that is that six figures? Are you making six? No, no, no. 40, 40, grand. 50, 50 grand. 50 is just two exits two. and add a few zeros. Yeah. Okay, so. 40K a year, okay, full time. 40K a year. Yeah. So, and then if your husband or wife is also there, you're making $100,000 as a family. Sure. Both working at McDonald's. Donald's? 80 yes. grand. 80 okay, grand. That is, okay, that's crazy. That is crazy because that job really doesn't require much. So it's inflating the entire, mm -hmm. you know, uh, labor sector. And, and the happy meal. And the happy meal. <laughs> unhappy, very which, unhappy. Which I'm very unhappy about, but I believe Gavin Newsom will be president one day. Can't get off that topic fast enough. <laughs> right. Well, you know what I want to talk about is not this thing that I'm completely fucking up in epic fashion right now. Well, you know, Gavin Newsom might be president one day. Idiot. So, of course, we know that making $20 an hour is not uh, six figures. It's actually, if they were saying it's $40,000, they are rounding. It's $41,600 a year. And Jesse Waters thought that it was $100,000 a year. Now let's also talk about rental prices in California. Yeah. The median rent, and this is for all bedrooms um, in California, is $2,795. Wow. Almost $2,800 for rent in the state of California. So you're talking about giving someone $20 an hour. They're making $41,600 a year. That's, by the way, um, before taxes. <laughs> um, yeah. And he, what what world is he living in? And think of, this is the same person who he's always attacking um, homeless people, saying that they have wine cellars and they're living it up, living on the street. I mean- These are really things he says. This conversation alone should tell you that Jesse Waters has nothing to offer you yeah. in terms of education, in terms of how the world works. This is someone who is so far removed from the experiences of everyday people 
that he thinks someone working at McDonald's, by the way, he called it an easy job. I would love for Jesse Waters to put in 40 hours on his feet at McDonald's. And then I want to check in with him after that week and ask him how that went. And we should give him the funds that he would make in a week and see yeah. what he could do with that. What, what could he do? I'm sure his dinner on any weeknight doesn't even you know, isn't well, going to be covered by listen, that. Uh, what I'd like, Brittany, is for you to give Jesse Waters a little bit more of a fair shake. Listen to this brilliant analysis. So it's inflating the entire, mm -hmm. you know, uh, labor sector. Uh, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> it's inflating the... Uh, 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 uh. So can we stop with this? I mean, honestly. Also, it is remarkable to... to Imagine this layout here of, for this podcast where it's just this weird echo chamber with all of these dipshits, none of whom really live in the real world. I mean, Patrick Bet David, I just did a video it's going to post um, on YouTube about him talking about, you know, I would be okay with the 14-year-old voting if they pay $10,000 in tax. Like, you have to earn the right to vote under the Constitution of the... They're just fundamentally bereft of any understanding of how things work in America, what our foundational principles are, how the Constitution works, what a right is versus what a privilege is. It, it's just fucking fantasy land, and they've been lucky enough lucky like us, to to fall in backwards to a situation where they have an audience. Well, and that comes up too because they, Patrick Bet David actually had the audacity to say to Jesse Waters that he started from the bottom. And <laughs> Jesse Waters started from the bottom? Yeah, and now, because now he's the Tucker Carlson of Fox News, right? right? And so I think he's saying like he started from the bottom, meaning that he was a production assistant. And Patrick Bet David said, well, that's, that's the story of all these great capitalistic companies like McDonald's. You always hear that they started as the burger flipper and then they became an owner. Yeah, okay. Ugh. And so Jesse Waters, I'm just reading briefly about his history here on Wikipedia. His his father, it looks like, was... Um, uh, he's the son of Stephen Waters, a teacher and child psychologist. Um, son of Stephen Waters, a teacher and child psychologist. Sorry, I'm trying to do it right now. Anne Purvis, this is written terribly. Uh, daughter of Morton Bailey Jr., a publisher of Better Homes and Gardens magazine. Right, he comes from money. His maternal great-grandfather was Morton Bailey, publisher of the Saturday Evening Post. His <laughs> maternal great-great-grandfather was the politician Mar Morton S. Bailey. Waters' paternal grandfather was a cardiologist at the Veteran Administration Hospital in Newington, Con Connecticut. So so what you're painting a picture here is is of a young man, Jesse Waters, who did the hard work, the the gritty work of pulling himself up by his bootstraps, Brittany Page, and rising to the heights of anchor on the Fox News. Yeah, I mean, my, my mom told me when I was a teenager she couldn't buy my shampoo anymore, and it was just suave Mountain Berry, like it was eighty nine cents. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not laughing about that because that's fucking tragic. But come on, no, we I gotta stop with this in. myth of meritocracy bullshit. Yeah, exactly. And there was no mention of luck. It's you started from the bottom. No, he didn't. No, he did not. And, Ugh. you know, it's just such disrespect of of people that are actually working hard every you day. You mean the, the, the six-figure salary earners who work at McDonald's? Those people? Y yeah, I mean, it's so... <laughs> God, it's so insulting of people that work hard, even for people who like Jesse Waters and who follow him yeah. and act like he's this person who has this stranglehold on how the world works. He doesn't get it. He doesn't give a shit about you. And I just hope that at some point we can all understand that. We'd love to know what you think. 657-464-7609. And of course, you can email a voice memo from your smartphone to idoubted at dollamore.com. If you would like to help support this work, help make this work possible. Help us create this work. $2 a month. Go to patreon.com slash idoubtitpodcast. It's a great way to help support this work. You get an ad-free version of the show. You get bonus Patreon-only content that we may or may not release to the entire audience. Maybe we should do a poll on Patreon and let the patrons decide. <laughs> we'll just, they get to decide the gatekeeping or not. That's right. Yeah. Anyway, we love you guys. We appreciate you very much. Thanks for joining us today. We will see you next time on episode 912 I'm Jesse Dollamore. This right here is Brittany Page. <laughs> and this has been I Doubt.